everyone. Something has just materialized over here. These lionesses have spotted some buffalo moving not too far away. You look at that. Oh, that buffalo is getting much closer. Uh, I think the buffalo. Yeah, oh, there we go. Elephant or trumpeting? There we go. Oh wow! Look at this. Yes, <laughs> this is incredible, everyone. Just again, everybody, for those sensitive viewers, um, if you are watching, it's not always easy to see, but this is nature, everybody. So just um, just bear that in mind, please. And. And there's some elephant coming into the, the area now too. Let's see what happens. Wow, this is oh look at that. Managed to shake off that lioness and get away. Now with this elephant just off to the right. You might see it coming into frame. There we go. Oh, you see the lionesses moving off very quickly. Uh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Buffalo managed to get away and the elephants chased the lions off. You see, lions do not really like big elephant. I'm just going to watch what this elephant does. No, no, no. Easy, 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 easy. I'm not going to move. She's just chasing that other lioness. Don't charge us. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry. See, I don't want to move. No. Hang on. Mm -mm. We're not here to hurt you. See, I don't want to make too many loud noises and sounds like this other guy is doing. Um, see, they're a little bit upset with these lions around. This is just a young elephant there. Welcome back, everybody. You're now live with us. That clip that you did uh, just see that Byron uh, had the privilege of sitting in that sighting. I think it was last year, actually. I remember I was, I was still working at that time. I don't know what I had. I don't think I had something as exciting as that. But uh, that was just a catch-up clip. You're back with us. Remember, hashtag Safari Live with all of your questions. This is happening right now. Now, that is an amazing sighting to have. And I reckon within a space of a couple of months, Byron first hit it off when he had that incredible sighting. Then Jamie had a sighting where the lions were feasting upon a buffalo, which they'd killed, I think it was the night before, and a group of elephants came in and chased them off of the carcass. And then the elephant then investigated around the carcass. And then one evening, you might remember this too, we had a similar sighting. We'd sat with Nguhuma Pride the whole day, and the little ones were climbing up on the marula trees. It was so great. It was when the cubs were still quite young. And we sat off and they started stalking the lionesses. And I said to you, we're not going to follow them because we don't want to ruin the chances of the hunt. You always want to give the animal an opportunity. And then we heard the distress calls and David and I went racing down. And then unfortunately, the gremlins got us and we weren't able to continue. But the same thing happened, just as you saw there with Byron. Unfortunately, the buffalo that they caught died relatively quickly. It must have been extremely weakened from the drought. And you saw that from that clip. You could see a lot of ribs. You could start to see the spine and all the vertebrae. So it just shows you how these, um, how these animals unfortunately suffered during the drought. The predators, however, seemed to thrive until the white muscle disease came about. But that's, we'll talk about that a little bit later. What I do want to focus on, of course, is that when something is being attacked by a predator, even if it's a fight amongst the same species, they make a lot of noise, they're in distress. Isn't it incredible? How we always say about the animals are always speaking the same language. Now, as that young buffalo bull was distressing and saying, um, help, help, you know, probably calling other buffalo, the elephants heard that call and they came charging in and said, right, we're not putting up with this. And I don't know if you noticed right at the end that one of the lions is actually just hiding away in the bushes, just standing absolutely still. Now, it's not often that we see lions sort of performing the freeze technique, which was one of the three very basic strategies that animals will use to try and evade predation. 
I thought it was very, very interesting to observe something like that. Just sitting there waiting, elephant completely forgot where the lion was, was distracted by all the vehicles moving around. What a great sighting and handled so well uh, by Byron too. And I'm sure he probably still tells his story. Well, that particular sighting to all his other guests that he's fortunate uh, of, of taking out on safari. Now, one thing that to me was pretty incredible was, did you see Amber Eyes? Did you see how she took charge? in that entire sighting, how she she, uh, she got up, she made the first run at that buffalo, that young bull, and then pounced on its back and then held on for dear life. And it's very, very important. That's very, very risky and it's very dangerous uh, for a lioness to do that because if it was a fit, healthy buffalo bull, things could have gone wrong. He could have bucked her off and she would have fallen to the ground and well, let me tell you, that's the scary thing about buffalo is that they don't stop, they come back and that's why we on walks are always so worried about them and that's what they do to lions. They will keep coming back and pe keep horning down into the ground with those very, very sharp tips. These buffalo skulls that we've got here, let me bring this, let me see if I can bring this one down. Or unfortunately, uh, oh, I'll just use this one, it'll be easier. We're quite old bulls. And if you look over here, you'll see that the tips of the horns are not particularly sharp anymore. That's not going to do too much. I mean, it would be very sore to have a buffalo using all of its weight. Remember, they can weigh up to 800 kilograms, so almost a ton. Imagine all that pressure pushing down on you. It would still hurt, but when they're a young fit bull, it's not quite needle sharp. But uh, I'll tell you right now, it will hook into your skin. It will rip you, and if you're not careful... Um, if a lion is not careful, obviously we don't. We try and not bo bother the buffalo too much. Uh, they'll get themselves into a lot of trouble and actually end up killing, uh, being killed by the uh, buffalo. So that's why they're one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. The buffalo, a force not to be reckoned with. Let me put this back. Now we have a question from Bobby, and that is, should I sit down? I don't know what to do now. Up, down, up, down. Sorry, Bobby. You're wondering, can the lions para uh, paralyze the buffalo by biting on the spinal cord? Most certainly, but they're not doing it for that. In fact, the reason why they are biting on the spine like that is... Uh, one of the main reasons, and you'll see they just chew, chew, chew. Uh, it causes a lot of bleeding. And when an animal like that is under stress, it's obviously getting hot, it's using a lot of energy. And if you make it bleed, well, then it's going to weaken it quicker as well. You know what I think is going to happen? As I feel, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a very unlevel piece of ground there, and I thought, if I dare lean back in my chair, which you should be able to do, I'm going to topple over, and can you imagine how much trouble I'd be in from James? I reckon he'd probably fly here in a hot balloon to come and sort me out from knocking his skull straight off. <laughs> be a disaster. Now, Aurelia, you're wondering if uh, herb other herbivores will always help each other in a, in a case like that? No, not necessarily. And sometimes even buffalo go, hang on, we may be biting off a bit more than we can chew. We're going to stand back, and unfortunately, Bob, you're going to have to take one for the team type of thing. But where they will, uh, where they can, not where they will, where they can, they will come charging in and try and help. I've noticed, though, if anything... It's normally elephants that come to the aid of uh, various animals rescue. And I've actually had sightings, like I said, many different times where elephants charge in and try and chase lions away uh, when they're trying to bring down a buffalo. So I, I don't know if anyone else has had any other encounters. Maybe we can pass this question along to Byron and perhaps James too. Maybe they've had other experiences where different uh, prey species have come in to assist. I've actually only seen it with, with um, yeah. Buffalo, elephants, and lions. I can't say that I've seen any encounters. Of course, there's a, the famous encounter of uh, the Kruger sighting where it was buffalo versus crocodile versus lions versus buffalo again. And eventually that, that little calf got away. I mean, that's just an amazing sighting to have. The apex predator in Africa, which is the crocodile, not only does it go after every single animal species, it doesn't discriminate from herbivore to predator, they'll eat it, but they also consider us as humans as food. Them and the polar bears, got to watch out for them. Uh, so, so yes, imagine having a sighting like that, and that is a possibility to have something like that. And that's the joy of Kenya. You just never know what you're going 
going to see. And I, I, I think everybody's so excited about the Maasai Mara and the Mara Triangle and everything that goes on in it. But we're going to go across now, not to the Mara. We're going to head straight to, well, just down the road, actually. However, if I shouted this link out, Byron might be able to hear me. He's still with Hosanna, and I wonder if he's woken up from his catnap. <laughs> 